So you've just gone, you can do your heel and ankle raises or toe raises. You want to now start strengthening more of the muscles on the side, one of the ones that kind of help pivot around like that. So the easiest way to do that is standing. You might even start holding onto something because you don't need to hurt yourself again. Is if you can watch my feet, it's got a name. I don't remember it. <laughs> it's onto your toes and then rolling and then dunk. So that's actually, once again, that's going to help your proprioception. You're figuring out where your body is in space. And it's also helping strengthen those muscles through there. So start with two feet. If doing it barefoot's too easy, then you can wear shoes. There's going to be more friction, it's going to be harder to do. And you want to be able to do that with two feet, three meters up, three meters back, a couple of times without pain. Once again, fatigue is good, it means you're strengthening it, but without pain. If you start to get sore, please stop, give it a few days, and then come back to it. But once you can do it with two feet, guess what? Then you graduate to the injured ankle. So that's really going to help with strengthening and also proprioception. So I'll try not to embarrass myself. <laughs> and then back. So if you can do that, three meters, <laughs> three times, <laughs> release your practice, <laughs> then all those muscles are starting to get strong through there, the ligaments starting to get stronger, and then you, we're, we're progressing you a little bit further.